We are here at Moen today, North America's number one faucet company. And in their partnership with Hydromat, have increased production by 40%. Now they are doing more domestic work and no more outsourcing. This is Moen. <laughs> The journey through Moen's production process begins at its expansive Sanford, North Carolina plant, a massive 350,000 square feet facility which is spread across eight acres under a single roof. It's a testament to their commitment to vertical integration. The plant operates 24-5 and its intricate machinery produces an impressive 700,000 parts per day. Here, injection molding, machining, assembly, and testing unite to craft the final product, all managed seamlessly by a workforce that has grown from a humble seven employees in 1973 to an impressive 250 today. Well, we've made it inside this incredible factory here at Moen. Very excited to be here. Very excited to be with Andrew. And the focal point, as you can see behind me, is Hydromat. There's a key player in evolution since how long now? 34 years, I believe. 1989 was the first Hydromat came into this factory. That's an incredible partnership. So let's talk about that partnership and the evolution of how that's grown here at Moen. Yeah. Moen has been a partner with Hydromat for, like we said, 34, 35 years with the, little, uh, the 12 station machines running parts for our original Al Moen uh, one handle faucet. Um, it's evolved into the Posi, our shower valves, and then most recently in uh, the insourcing of our uh, widespread valve for uh, uh, two handle bathroom faucets. So I know we're going to go into details with Bobby about the percentage of uptick, the amount of cycle time reduction, all of these things. But what's the evolution from pre-34 years ago to now? How is it being done? We know Hydromat is famous for the 16 station machines that takes that 10-minute that part and sends one off every minute, you know, that kind of thing, every 30 seconds, that kind of thing. I know you have parts running right now that are spitting out every 17 seconds. So before and after, what's that evolution? and growth been like with Hydromat? Well, on the most recent part, like we started with a 30 second cycle time on another uh, process. We partnered with uh, Hydromat. They came up with the process, like you said, 16 station machine, epic CNC units, uh, really creative solutions. And they are now running those, we got well, two of them, they're making the part at 17 seconds. Just um, amazing, right? And, but, but, we still run the legacy um, hydraulic machines. We have the full CNC machines. Uh, and uh, between Hydromat, Hydromat, and Hydromat RE, the rebuild, they've been a great partner over the years. And about how many machines of Hydromat are here right now? Nine machines right now. Three new within the last year. Absolutely perfect. Now let's get into the details of some of these cycle time reductions and how that evolution transpires into money in the physical form of how we can make more parts by the millions. Well, when we're talking about efficiency and productivity, we have to talk about making chips and pounds and pounds of this come off every few seconds because they're removing so much material so effectively on these Hydromat machines. I have Bobby with me now. He's gonna go into some of the details of the evolution of how we were able to do this. Talking with Andrew, Bobby, 16 stations here, but you have Hydromats all over the place. And as a general rule, these things have helped you become more effective, more efficient, produce more parts, even with the limited amount of people that are available to join us these days in manufacturing. What have those numbers been like here? Oh, it's been quite amazing, really, since we uh, joined in with the Hydromat Epic machines. Uh, when we launched our uh, new two-handle valve body, we knew it was going to be quite a big undertaking and the equipment that we had uh, initially began with it wasn't meeting those uh, expectations 
And so we were really struggling to get the cycle time we needed along with, you know, obviously that leads to the parts you need, right? Yeah. So we uh, were, when we went with the Epics and brought them in immediately, there was a big boost. We went from over 30 seconds apart, you know, down to 17, just slightly over 17 seconds apart. So we had like a 40% increase in our productivity right there. And then we got to where we could see where we could meet that forecasted demand that we need, you know, there. So bringing two of those machines in, you know, we've really, we've really made great strides with that. Yeah, I can appreciate that for the audience watching right now. Just in case, even though Hydromat is incredibly famous, imagine you have a part, hundreds of thousands of parts that go from 30 seconds to 17 seconds. And how is that able to happen? Well, because there's 16 stations. So even if that original part, and my math is going to be bad, but let's pretend that original part is 15 minutes, but now it's popping off a part every 17 seconds. That math doesn't work out, but that's how it's done. 16 stations being able to pop off parts 40 percent increase i mean it's absolutely fascinating along this journey of 34 years service and support has mattered as well and i know we're going to talk to danny about that a little bit but how has that been for you on this side is also oh it's awesome um uptime is key here again you know we've got to be able to meet that demand so when we do have problems which has not been that often uh, you know we had a good bit of history with hydromats the old leg older legacy machines and so forth but when we brought this in with the new technology and everything you know hydromat told us don't worry we will be there for you well those were words but I'm telling you, I've seen it since I've been here. We brought these machines in. They're just a phone call away. If we need service techs in here, they're here. But the majority of our issues are solved over the phone. When we put our technicians on the phone with their technicians, and, and they're great about making themselves available when we need them. Yeah, and we need to know that. We're now going to head over and talk to Danny. 34 years from the first machine to the machine that just arrived. We're going to talk about what that relationship's been like, how user-friendly these machines are, how quickly they can be adapted. So we'll see you over there. Transitioning, ease of use, and the potentials of service and support. I got my buddy Danny here as the expert on this subject as we go as a third part of the three musketeers here at Mullen today. Danny, when we're talking about 34 years, we have the oldest machine there, the newest machine here that just came in, 34 years of a relationship. No relationships work if those relationships aren't good. Exactly. How easy are these to implement? Because I know you have several at this point, and Hopefully never, but if something does happen, what's the service and support like as well? Well, as far as implementing the machine, I mean, it's pretty much straightforward. I mean, they're, they're user friendly. Uh, they're easy to navigate as far as the operations of the machine. So it makes it easier for somebody that's doing some training to somebody that's picking up on the operations. It's pretty much straightforward. That's about all I can say. Um, but as far as the uh, service, of the actual Hydromat Incorporated people, they're very much very really helpful. Uh, I can mention one name, Tom Wilkes, the one that comes to mind at Hydromat. He's helped me out a lot, 100%. If I call on him, he's helped me out a lot. Sometimes I give him a little false information that kind of stirs him a curveball, but that's my thought. But anyway, um, yeah, he helps me out a lot on these machines when I get stumped a little bit, and it gets me through my day, and it gets me through to the point I get the machines back up and running and doing the training part some of the newer operators when they're trying to train on some of these machines. I always enjoy when we get to name drop the people that are important in our lives as well. If it's okay with you to close this thing out, Danny, I would like to just kind of go back real quick to the ease of use and implementation. The reason I want to do that is because a lot of people might initially get overwhelmed when they see so many stations on one machine. Oh my gosh, I'm used to a three axis. I'm used to a five axis. Is it overwhelming for someone who's just getting used to it? Do you need a leg? Legacy like yourself, a legend like yourself, to be able to come in and feel confident. How, how for, for a new person, how easy would it be to implement as well? It's not actually me being a legend as a person, 
been here as long as I have. It's just actually using the mentality to help train somebody that's never been on one of these machines. Usually the first thing I try to tell people, they got all the buttons and whistles intimidate you. It's, it's not that bad as you think it is. Oh my God, there's 50 buttons here. What am I supposed to do? Don't let it intimidate you. Trust me. As we go forward, it'll get more simpler for you. And I, I just, it's just ease of mind for the person that's actually coming to something like this for the first time. Then you have your couple, a handful of people that's been on something similar to this. The training module's a little bit different with them because they're kind of familiar with it, but still they get stumped on some of the controls and stuff. That makes my job a little bit easier, but it makes them more comfortable coming into a facility as a new employee and knowing how to operate these machines efficiently and you know being successful on them. Danny, I thank you for sharing that with me. The reason I brought that up for the audience watching right now with Danny is because we are currently looking for qualified technical people here at Moen and at most companies around the country, right? So the fact that someone like Danny just said, we can bring someone in that's fairly fresh and new, give them confidence right away, that also goes into the importance of understanding that we are all trying to do more, like Hydromat can bring to us, to do more, to be more efficient, to be more productive. And then as Danny said here, to allow us to be able to bring people in and train them quickly. Danny, thank Thank you so much. Yes, sir. I do appreciate your time. I'll see you on the drag strip. All right. No problem. <laughs> Moen, the number one faucet company in North America in partnership with Hydromat, increases productivity, reshoring, and profitability. Thank you all for watching. This is MTD CNC.